bitch, that just can't apply it back. Yeah, baby, let me tell you, you so fine, you so sexy. Yeah. Baby, let me tell you, you a dime, baby, let's be friends. I can spend this money on a time if you let me. Tyga featuring Soulja Boy, the battle of the rappers who think that they had made a comeback, but have not yet made a comeback. Um, Tyga had a, had a couple good songs, had a couple bangers actually, so I mean to say that Tyga made a comeback officially, I think is a little too too quick, I think he's gotta, he's gotta come back with another banger, then maybe we can start saying that Tyga has made a comeback. But Soulja Boy, on the other hand, I think Soulja Boy is hilarious. Like, I think whatever when he's whatever he said, all those interviews he's been on, he is hilarious. But, like, the songs that he's put out have been kind of mm, trash. So, um, and then even Soulja Boy was like, Tyga is, so Soulja, Big Soulja has the best uh, comeback of 2019 or whatever. So, we'll see. I don't know if, like, Soulja's, I haven't really talked about, so I've never really heard anything about Soulja Boy until just recently with the Soulja gaming and shit. <laughs> there was those stupid fucking, like, the Soulja, Soulja watch. Like, basically these bootleg ass things that I don't even think worked, probably. They might have worked, but they might have been just, like, whack. But, apparently, um, Tyga and Soulja Boy both made diss tracks about each other, um, and they're both on the Tatiana beat, which it seems like everybody is doing um, freestyles on the Tatiana beat, so we're just gonna check out Tyga's first. We're gonna check out both of them, and uh, you know we're gonna see if they were whack, if they were actually good digs at each other, and yeah. <laughs> so first we're gonna go with the Tyga one because I'm pretty sure Tyga, Tyga's I'm pretty sure dropped first. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure his dropped first. So um, let's get it. Yeah. L.A. shit, man. Hip hop shit. T. Raw go. baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Blueface. Uh, the Los Angeles Lakers. I wanna see you. Yeah. Nigga call me a goat. Don't call it a comeback. Seven million records, nine months. Where so jack? I can make the same. Oh. Oh. Okay, hold on, Tyga. Um, bitches still play that. Run around saying that you made me. Why you say that? And I make them bitches flock to me like ASAP. And I had to Amber Rose the top of the Maybach. A E, why they hate that? Where the bay at? Time is money, can't let a broke bitch waste that. In LA, them niggas be famous for a day. I don't chase clout, I just pull and chase bank. I got taste cush and the good. The shit don't stink. A nigga sent me a song, thought that shit was a prank. <laughs> and I mean it in a bad way. <laughs> Damn, he said this so soldier was the one that sent him the song. Damn, for real? Bad way. <laughs> and your bitch hit me up every Saturday. And I'm busy with Damn. your friend. Try another day. Uh, I start Damn. my own wave. Then I ride the wave. Baby, don't be sassy. Nothing don't pass me. Diamond cross baptiste. Pray to me. Marry me or not. Superficial thing. Can't wait till we meet. Hundred large for the verse. I done did three this week. Hot nigga so close, but he's still out of reach. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Uh, do without will what you think. Platinum first day the album on creep. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, set the album on creep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. LA leak. Let that flow sink. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let that beat breeze. How we do it, baby? Did he, he must have did this on like some sort of radio show or something like that. But yo, okay, okay, Tyga. He said first. He said album went platinum first day. Did it really? That one? I can't remember what the album was called. I know his new ones have not, but like. The one with the gold on it. I think y'all know what I'm probably talking about. Okay, come on. Yeah, he had an album called Coyoto. I'd never heard of that. One called Bugatti Raw. Never heard of that. One called Bitch I'm the Shit 2. Never heard of that. Um, one called Raw is Still Alive. Never heard that. <laughs> Fuck What They Talking About. Never heard that. The Gold Album, 18th Dynasty. Never heard that. A uh, fan of the album. Oh, this is the one with Chris Brown. I heard this one. Bitch, I'm the shit. Never heard of that. Black Thoughts. Never heard of that. Black Thoughts Volume 2. Never heard of that. Well Done 4. I think I heard like one or two songs off of this one. Hotel California. Yep, I heard a couple songs off of this one. And then Careless World, The Rise of the Last King. That's the one. That's the one that I think everyone knows. And this must have been the one that went platinum in the first day. Because he had some bangers on this with like 
Big Sean, Wayne, um, Busta. Oh my gosh, I remember some of these songs. They were so fire. He had a song with Cole. A song with Drake. Yes, I remember this. This album was so fire. Yeah, but that was probably the album he's talking about. Because I, I honestly, like, if you're a fan of Tyga and you're like, oh my god, how could you not have heard of this album? I just have, besides Hotel California and Careless World, I literally have not heard of any of these albums that he's dropped. Like, Well Done 4, I think, I, like I said, I think I heard, like, one song off this, maybe. I don't, I don't recognize any, any of them. But then there, he had this the album with Chris Brown. And then, besides that, Black Thoughts, I never heard of any of these. I've never, like, even, like, seen, like, the pictures pop up. Like, I've never even seen these album covers. Like, usually, sometimes you'll be like, oh, that that was from that album. I remember, I remember seeing that album cover before. I've never even seen these album covers. Who knows, man? I don't, is he come, making a comeback? I don't know. We'll see. I guess he had... I mean, damn, Taste tasted well as shit. I mean, Taste has five fun... Five. Five fun. Five hundred and forty-three million streams. And Swish, that was his other one that he dropped that was big. That one has 143 million streams, so... Mm -hmm. Who knows? But then he said... Uh, <laughs> he said Soja... I don't know if he said Soja, but he said, Boy, sent me a verse... Or sent me a song. I thought it was a joke. Or I thought it was a prank. Like, did he, did Soja actually send him a song, or is that just like bullshit? Uh, all right, so we're gonna check out Soja's next. They're both on this. This Tatiana beat is like the newest like freestyle beat that everyone's gonna go on. But all right, let's listen to let's listen to Soja Boys. Yeah. Real life. What's down, Tatiana? This beat is so good yeah. though. Hey, hey, hey. First off, who was Tiger? Big Draco. Everybody know I'm on fire. Say you had the biggest comeback, you a liar. Yeah, bad bitch, thick thighs like Malaya. Riding in that foreign on fire. Yeah, leave a nigga jaw broke through the wire. Hey, Drake. I'm riding around town getting hella cake. 2019. Uh -huh. I like how I edited the Drake <laughs> in that little fucking bar. Drake. I'm riding around town getting hella cake. 2019, Daytona 392. Nigga been getting money, money out the coop. Yeah, took over the whole rap game. Nigga disrespect, then you know we snatch chains. Yeah, you know I made famous dick. Yeah, you know I been had a check. I jump out the coop, then I flex, put 500,000 on a bust down neck. Yeah, hey, who can flex like me? Who can flex like this? Who can flex through the city? Riding around town with the Draco on me. Make the wrong move, I'ma make it like macaroni. Damn. Yeah, make that chopper clap magnolia. Big Draco, call me Big Soldier. Hey. Yeah, took over the rap game. Disrespect game, then you know we snatch chains. Bust down, Tatiana. I wanna see you bust down. Riding in the forest with the top down. Make the wrong move. Dirty leave a nigga knocked down. Hold on, I had to bring the guap out. Hold on. Big chain, big rings, every time that young Draco pop out, stop playing. What the fuck a nigga saying? I don't get money, nigga, bullets, they'll start spraying. Damn. Yeah, go here, I go Super Saiyan. Honey, 50,000K, that's in Japan. Yeah, don't play with me. I been getting money, I will leave a nigga history. Gang, leave a nigga six feet deep. Hey, I leave a nigga dead on the concrete. Gang, niggas don't want drama. Word around town, I fuck this baby mama. Sheesh. Yeah, kaboom. With your son in the other room. Smoke, don't smoke. <laughs> he did fuck Black China though, which is true. That is true. It's not word on the street. Everyone, everyone heard everyone knows. And this dude <laughs> let me find the tweets after Smoke this. Got big ass. Poor little drop top, that's paper tag. Yeah. He got drugged at the club by the security. I know he big man. I saw that I literally just saw that video. <laughs> I saw that video. It was like Floyd Floyd Mayweather's birthday party or some shit like that. <laughs> this dude got dr his ass got dragged out of the the fucking um <laughs> the damn theater or the the club the theater his ass got it, like TMZ really clickbaited the fuck out of it out of it but they were like TMZ said something like <laughs> it was like uh, Tiger tries to pull a gun when confronted at 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 party or some shit like that he did not try to pull a gun it says Tiger grabs for a gun after being dragged out of Floyd May Floyd Floyd Mayweather's birthday party, which 
This shit is not, like, he did not grab for his fucking gun. He was pissed off, and then he was pissed that, like, people were recording and shit, but he did, was, did not reach for his gun. He was pissed that he got thrown out, and, like, so someone, someone in the comments, like, the first comment was a guy named Rob Level, who was verified on YouTube. He says, I was at the party, he legit didn't do anything, and they kicked him out. And I don't know if this guy's big or anything. He's got, he's got 135,000 subscribers. So not really like that popping, 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 but like, who knows? Maybe this guy is, is, knows what he's, he is saying like the true shit, but like a soldier boy said on some shit said, um, he, him and a fucking black China broke up or some shit. Let me see if I can find it. Soldier. Black China. I gotta see these tweets. They're so funny. <laughs> okay, so he said, uh, um, Black China and Soldier Boy, TMZ, and so TMZ tweeted, Black China and Soldier Boy split after dating for a couple weeks. Soldier Boy tweeted, quoted it, and said, Like I said, I just wanted to see what the pussy felt like. Then he, then he tweeted another one that said, Black China hacked my phone. Or he so then he tweeted like an apology or some shit like that. Um, like some of these tweets, man. He said, "I fucked your baby mama and played Fortnite with your son." Me and Black China could have never worked because she like blank like Tyga. She like dudes like Tyga. This is the N word, but <laughs> it's just like simple, like stupid tweet. Then he tweeted out like some sort of like apology or something like that. It was like I didn't mean it or whatever. I didn't. I didn't mean the. I didn't mean the tweets at all. But then he's like, Black China must have hacked my phone because, <laughs> um, because I would have never tweeted some shit like that. What did, wait, hold on. Let me see. Black China hacked my phone, shaking my head, shaking my head. I didn't tweet that last apology. I left my phone at her house, shaking my head. Dude, this dude is just wild. Like, the whole situation is so wild. I just gotta say, Soldier Boy's, his diss track, it was kind of just like flexing. Like, it wasn't really like... It wasn't really, like, a diss track. It was just like, I'm richer than you, bitch. And I fucked your baby mom. <laughs> like, that's kind of, like, all he said. But, like, I don't really know. Like, Soulja Boy... Let me see if I know any of Soulja Boy's albums, because I just did it with Tyga. He had one called King. Never heard of that. Young Draco. Never heard of that. Best to Ever Do It. Never heard of that. King Soulja 8. Never heard of that. Wally World 3. Mario and Damo versus The World. Shit. Where am I at? God damn it. Big Soldier, King Soldier 7, Real Fort, Real Soldier for Life, Ignorant Shit, Better Late Than Never. I never heard any of these albums, so like, the top songs are like the songs that have been his pop, the ones popping since 2009, like Crank That, Kiss Me Through the Phone, Pretty Boy Swag, Turn My Swag On. But honestly, I think it is true, like, to say that Soulja Boy didn't have an influence on rap is wrong because he definitely had an influence on a lot of today's rap. It, he really did. Because, like, I feel like he made, like, kind of, like, he's part of, I think he's part of, like, the mumble rap community, like, making that sort of popular. But I think he's also a person that made, like, I don't know how to say it, like, goofy rap, I guess. Like, rather than, like, so, like a lot of rap was, like, so hard, like, gangster kind of kind of style but like then it was like soldier boy kind of helped evolve the, like the goofy style of rap so i mean i do agree with the fact that he is a big person in in the rap game today like influencing a lot of younger artists but for him to say like he's coming back like the numbers just aren't there tyga at least has like numbers to like kind of back up that he's kind of making a comeback but soldier sorry my brother you don't <laughs> but um if you guys did like Please leave a like. Please subscribe. Um, it, let me know who you guys thought won. Like, if, or if if it's probably not over yet, so we might do an update video on this one. Um, but whose diss track do you guys think was better? I personally think Tyga's was a little better only because it was... I don't know. They're both not that great. Like, really. They both took, like, slight digs at each other, but they never really, like, went, f like, full in. I mean, T Soja Boy just basically said, like, I'm rich. I'm fucking rich. So... Uh, just leave in the comments whose uh, who's diss track you thought was better. And uh, if if they do do another diss track back and forth, we'll probably react to it on the channel, trying to like some update. I think I might start doing, maybe I might start doing that, like 
hip hop news and shit. I don't know if you guys would want that. I, I, I can like give my opinions on like hip hop news and shit like that. Or you, I can just stick to reacting, <laughs> whatever. But yeah, thank you guys. And until next time, it's your boy, King Boys Productions. Squaw! Ain't nothing usual about me. Uh, I put that on whoever doubt me. I'm going mad and she calling me fussy, but nothing delusional about me. Sometimes I talk about my music and they tell me that I need to cool it around me. But look at my numbers and look at your numbers like, why you refusing to count me?